Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Guess where I'm at today? I'm here at the Farmer's Market, a historic spot in LA. I've been here before, I've done a video here as well. A lot of really great stuff to buy here, stuff to check out. And today I'm gonna to be continuing my Asian country food tour by this time visiting the country of Singapore. So yes, I'm gonna be trying Singaporean food for the first time today in this episode at this spot called Singapore's Banana Leaf, which is uh, one of the very few spots in Los Angeles that specializes in Singaporean food. So that in itself makes this a very special food spot here in LA at the farmer's market. So if you guys wanna see what Singaporean food looks like, especially here in Los Angeles, then you gotta stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see this amazing overview of Singaporean food here in LA, as well as some of the must try foods if you were to go to Singapore or at a restaurant. And if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so that you can get these episodes weekly. All right, so let's, let's look for this place. So they got some really awesome things going on here at Singapore's Banana Leaf. This restaurant has been here for 20 years. It's a family business, completely family run. They have all these authentic Singaporean recipes that the family grew up eating back in Singapore. So this is really as authentic as it can get. And it's really one of the very few Singaporean restaurants in LA. In fact, it might be the only one. Isn't that so interesting? So yeah, they're here at the farmer's market. They open seven days a week. Got some of the hottest stuff that you can find on this side of town. And I'm in the kitchen right now watching them make some of this authentic Singaporean food. So we're gonna start out with the mi in dough, which is a very popular Singaporean food. The egg is in there and it's cooking with, is that potato? Yeah, it's potato. Potato, okay, and some kind of a spicy sauce, I think. All that noodle, of course, needs to go in there to make this thing come alive. Sweet, sweet, sweet sauce. sauce, okay, sweet sauce. And then give it a nice stir all around. Okay, and it's done? Yes. All right, and it's finished. Looks like the chef is now going to be making the tuna sambo. That's the tuna, right? All right. That's all that tuna. When you order the food, it comes in all these to-go containers. So this is pretty much how it's going to look like once you order the food. You can eat it here or you can take it to go, take it home and enjoy it at home. So I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff that I got here today. Well, let's begin with the first one. This is the mi goreng, the pan fried or stir fried noodles in the bottom with a nice fried egg on top. And you got some of that chicken satay, which is super popular in Singapore as well. And that is the peanut sauce that you dip the chicken into. This and this look really good. And then moving on to the right, this is the laksa, which is a rich coconut broth soup that has fish inside of it, fish filet, as well as bean sprouts, and it comes with tofu. And that's the noodles right there. So you're supposed to mix the two together just like that. And moving on to the third one, this is the tuna sambal. So sambal is also very popular in Singapore as well. Tuna with rice in the bottom, and you got some vegetables to the right. This right here is like a Singaporean flatbread. This is called the paratha. It's like a very Indian influence in India, basically like an Indian bread, I would say. And that is the curry dipping sauce to this bread. I don't want the noodles to get way too cold. So this one, I'm definitely gonna start with first. The noodles, they're kind of like these noodles that look very similar to chow mein noodles, I would say. Very soft. Soft, has like a really nice subtle flavor to it and it's not, and there's a little bit spiciness to it as well. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, I do taste some of that spiciness along with some of the shredded egg that's all around in here as well. 
And just by looking at this, I can already tell that this food here is very similar to Malaysian and Indonesian food as well. You're gonna see a lot of similarities in the flavors and in the styles and even the names of the dishes as well. So just giving you a heads up on that. All right, I wanna dip some of this chicken in this peanut sauce, which kind of has an interesting red color to it. Maybe it's a little spicy. Well, it's good. It's a good chicken skewer. It's been cooked on that grill, so it has a barbecue flavor to it. And of course with the peanut sauce, that's where the magic is at, because you definitely need to use this peanut sauce to taste that peanut flavor as well as a slight spiciness to the chicken saute as well. Killer combination. And before I start with the noodles, I wanna see what the coconut broth tastes like. I always like to drink the soup or the broth before I go into the noodles. It's always kind of like a habit of mine. Mm. Wow. So by the way, this isn't a curry soup. Just letting you know that. They do have curry here as well, like Indonesian style curry. They do have Indian curry here as well, but this is, laksa is not it. This is like a rich and slightly thick, definitely creamy coconut broth. First time I've ever had anything like this. So interesting. And of course, gotta try the fish as well. This nice fish filet that's inside of it. Oh wow, it's a fish cake actually. So now moving on to my tuna sambal. So this is uh, albacore, I guess, from what I heard on the menu that's been stir fried That's amazing flavor. Oh yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. You do taste like that tomato flavor, some of that that uh, garlic flavor, or that ginger flavor, I would say, that's in here as well. The lemon, lemon juice on top of the tuna. How could I have forgotten that one? Yeah, now it's gonna give a whole new dimension of flavor to it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Gotta put the lemon juice on top of the tuna. Overall, this is a cool dish, really good. And now, finally on to my paratha, the Indian flatbread, which I'm gonna take some of and put it in this curry dipping sauce to give it the maximum flavor. Oh yeah. Amazing, it's crispy. On the outside, it's soft on the inside. Almost like eating a uh, Chinese scallion pancake. Very similar to that, but then when you dip it into the curry sauce, it gives it this nice thick curry flavor to it. If you never had it before, trust me, it's good, eat it. If you see this at a Singaporean restaurant, this is something you gotta get, especially if you love curry flavored bread. And what a way to end off. This is the chendol. This is a famous Indonesian drink, also popular in Malaysia as well. Shaved ice, got the noodles inside right there, and then you got the sweetened coconut milk. That's all around in layers with the brown sugar. Wow. Wow. Really, that is like the best kind of shaved ice you can get. Asian style shaved ice with that coconut milk flavor that's like sweet, very refreshing. And that sugar, that brown sugar that's inside of here too. Killer combination. Yeah, don't miss out on the chendo, especially if you want a dessert drink. They got it here and it's super delicious. Perfect to have, especially during summertime. So now you guys are probably wondering, what is my favorite dish out of all the ones that I had here today? They're all very different, so it's always so hard for me to say which one exactly is my favorite. But there is one that I feel does stand out amongst the rest of them, and that is the tuna sambal. Because I'm into seafood, I love the taste of the combination of that tuna along with the tomato sauce, slightly spicy as well with that lemon juice all around, and even the vegetables on the side, stir fried, were so good as well. So yeah, that's definitely one you gotta get when you come here to Singapore's banana leaf. But everything I got here is super popular 
at this spot. So if you come to this spot here at the farmer's market, this, ban this uh, Singapore's banana leaf, and you don't know what to order, then just get what I got because like I said, these are some of the highlight dishes here. I don't really think you could go wrong with any of these, especially if you love Singaporean food. You are so adventurous. And of course, don't forget your chendol as well in order to top it off with a nice uh, dessert here at Farmer's Market. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. If you like what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up and also comment on the section below. If you've had any of these foods before, or maybe there's a Singaporean food that you would like to recommend, we'd all would love to hear it. And also remember, subscribe, guys, so that you can get these episodes weekly. So anyways, hope you have a rockin' day today, folks, and that you'll try some of this rockin' Singaporean food in LA sometime soon. And be sure to also click on the other videos on my screen so that you can see some of the other Asian food spots that I've done here in LA. So I'll see you guys in the next video.